Swedish-based retail giant H&M kicked off 2018 with a bang of the controversial variety after social media users noted the brand's UK site was selling a green kid's hoodie stamped with the phrase coolest monkey in the jungle modeled by a black boy. It could have been nothing but a cool green hoodie for children except naturally social media lit up with a viral response to the ad campaign which some label as little more than casual racism. The retail chain promptly issued an apology for what they termed as their poor choice. The apology read, Our position is simple, we have got this wrong, and we are deeply sorry. Yet that was not enough to quell the tide of violence and demands for recompense for the racist hoodies. Critics were also quick to point out the white child in the same advertisement modeling an orange hoodie proclaiming his to be a junior tour guide and jungle official survivor expert leading one Twitter user to declare the entire narrative a fail for 2018. The company has announced that it had removed all traces of the image from all its marketing. Groups of protesters in South Africa are responding with violent protests demonstrating at six different H&M stores across the country. Many of them were dressed in red which is denoted as a signature worn by protesters of the radical left economic freedom fighters F group. Protesters attacked the H&M stores and tore down shop displays over the so-called racist advertisement. Innocent shoppers and bystanders were forced to flee as chanting gangs swept through at H&M stores across the city, including Africa's flagship store in the upmarket suburb of Santon. In at least one store, police fired rubber bullets to disperse the protesters, some of whom were allegedly stealing clothing. Video shows protesters tearing down shop displays and throwing clothes around. Floyd Shivambu, the spokesman for the F Party, praised the action, saying the retailer was now facing the consequences for its racism. Another spokesman for the radical group Biasen Losi stated in response to H&M pulling all traces of the advertisement, as well as the public apology, that was too little, too late. Nlozi took to social media to post pictures of a vandalized H&M store and video footage of chanting F supporters. Stating, the time of apologies for racism are over, there must be consequences to anti-black racism, period. The Economic Freedom Fighters F is a South African revolutionary socialist political party started by expelled former African National Congress Youth League Ansel President Julius Malema and his allies, in 2013. The F ascribes to Marxist and Leninist doctrine, and are professed communists. According to a November 2013 Ipsos survey, the party supporters are younger than average. With 49% being younger than 24 years of age with an overwhelmingly black male population. Women make up just 33% of their support base. Although many social media keyboard warriors welcomed radical and violent acts. Other warned that, if H&M did abandon the country it would mean hundreds of jobs, mainly held by black people, would be lost. Many clearly had no thought of the economics of destroying the financial livelihood in a place where the unemployment rate is 27.7% and no plan to support unemployed workers should H&M be forced to pull out of South Africa closing these stores. Yet others pointed out that the mess and chaos caused would also be left to black workers to clean up. Police said they were monitoring the protests, but that they had made no arrests so far. H&M currently has some 4,500 stores in 62 countries. The company's first African store opened just two years ago and immediately found itself the center of controversy and public backlash due to the company's failure to feature any black models in its advertising. Terry Mango is the mother of the child model, five-year-old Liam and a resident of Sweden called the backlash to the image completely unnecessary and urged critics including athletes, musicians, and those of the Hollywood elite, to stop crying wolf and get over it. She has also revealed the comments sparked a wave of online abuse and astounding hypocrisy wherein she herself was then called a monkey, the same racist slur that sparked the outrage. Another person was quick to point out that this was a UK advertisement, not an American or an African one, and expressed their frustration that Americans and Africans were attempting to force those people in the UK to adhere to the exact same moral ideologies and rules as they do. At random Human tweeted, Most UK people wouldn't think anything of this, I imagine and Little Monkey is a common pet name for kids in the UK. That picture in the UK site is for UK audiences.